Okay, so we'll start with the Pro 4. And yes, the 5900X CPU is unlocked with PBO. And yes, all the limits are unlocked because this is the head to head series, which I do tend to push them a bit harder. Now, for the idle swall tests, the idles with the Dark Rock Pro 4 were 31 Celsius. And obviously, it's the same testing. I do Cinebench R23 Blender Classroom, the Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. So, for the maxes with Cinebench R23, the max was an 85 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the max was a 81 Celsius. The Blender BMW max was 81 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the max was a 65, which I don't understand why that was so low, but that's just one of them things. Now, let's get into the Dark Rock Pro 5. Right then, so when it comes to the Pro 5, now it does have two different modes, it has Quiet and Performance Mode, but I'm not going to touch the modes, I'm just going to leave it as is in its standard configuration like I did with the Pro 4. So for Cinebench R23, now what I will say is the idles for this run were 29 Celsius, so a little bit lower than the Pro 4. And for Cinebench R23, the max was an 82. Blender Classroom, the max was an 80 Celsius. Blender BMW, max was a 79 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the max was in 71 Celsius. So a little bit higher than the Pro 4, but that is to be expected because of differences when it comes to testing. I did test the Pro 4. You know, it, it's all margin of error due to the ambient air around you. So that's it for the thermals. Right, so you've seen... You've heard the thermals, yeah, the, they're basically around the same, but obviously the Pro 5 is a few degrees better when it comes to maxes and the th idles. Now, the Pro 4 is still a fantastic choice if you are looking for a CPU cooler upgrade. There is no difference when it comes to the performance. Both are only so many degrees difference between each, but like I did say in the thermals, when you're testing CPU coolers back to back, the ambient air around you are, is going to fluctuate due to the amount of heat that's going through these coolers. Now, yes, the temperatures are there are there is a difference, but that could be a margin of error due to the fact that the ambient air in the room did start to heat up after the second lot of testing. So that you always gotta really put that into a really gonna put that into account because choosing a cpu cooler it's it's easy of course but choosing the right one for you is not always the best uh, the always the easiest way of choosing so now of course when it comes to the dark rock pro uh, pro 5 there is major differences like of course that the bracket that they use for the mountain is already on the cooler itself instead of the it being separate and of course these fans are absolutely beautiful and what i will do is take them off here so you can have a look now i have got a few of these sorry the sorry this is a pro 5 but it looks more like silent wings 4 that's what it is right so now i've got a couple of these over there on the shelf now these are very good quiet fans but what i will say is when it comes to acoustics this is a tad louder than the pro 4 that is due to the fact that it's got two different types of modes where that is just pwm controlled this does have a quiet and a performance mode so there is going to be a difference when it comes to the overall noise this is a tad louder but to be honest there's not much of a huge difference in noise maybe a couple of decibels but it is actually notable when it's in a case because of obviously the case but what i will say is the overall design i feel with the pro 5 is definitely better i do prefer the overall design with the pro 5 but that is my opinion in that's just my personal opinion your opinion of course the consumer does matter more than mine i'm just here to help you guys to choose which cooler to buy now what i will say is they're basically around the same when it comes to thermal output but of course the pro 5 is a lot newer but the pro 4 that is still 
one of the best coolers on the market. It's still fantastic for any CPU out there. Maybe not the highest end from Intel, maybe not. But of course, that's up to you guys. Now, what I will say is that the Pro 5, of course, is the newer version. And of course, it does look a lot neater. I mean, look at that compared to that. I mean, you know, yeah, it is look looks a bit more fancier, of course, got different fans and stuff like that. But of course, the Pro 5, in my opinion, looks better. Now, like I said, the mounting is different because the mounting is on already attached to the Pro 5. Now, of course, the middle fan isn't just a basic 135. This one does have a housing, which is kind of weird because it just means you can't put any other fan there without using the Silent Wings 4 fans. So, I mean, they don't actually do 135 fans, so it's just it's basically a custom shroud. Now, I understand because it's got two different modes for acoustics, that is probably why, but still, that's still one of the downfalls. And of course, when it comes to both of them, they're both okay to install, but the Pro 4 is a bit more difficult because of that individual bracket that you've got to use for the mountain so yeah that, uh, look it's up to you guys i honestly me personally if you're on a bit of a more of a bit of a lenient budget because of christmas and you just want to get by by something good that's high end then the pro 4 is certainly definitely a good still good option in 2023 but of course if you're looking at the high-end be quiet uh coolers not the elite because i haven't actually had that yet but the pro 5 is definitely a good option as well now i'd like to say a big thank you to everyone and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you this is richard welsh tech good bye